Hi and welcome. This is Mohammed Kubeb. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about how to implement uh, Azure AD authentication for Storefront. So, integrating Storefront with Azure AD, which is extremely helpful if you are an Azure customer and you are using Azure AD for your enterprise applications. The main benefit of this is uh, uh, you can achieve single sign on and uh, you can use conditional access policy where you can apply multiple conditions. Uh, so that you can secure your uh, Citrix or uh, Storefront infrastructure from the identity point of view. So some of the prerequisites to configure Azure AD authentication for your Storefront, uh, you should have Azure account and you should have a global administrator privileges. And the second one is uh, Storefront needs to be configured with HTTPS. And then Azure AD sync must be in place. And if you wanted to achieve end-to-end -end SSO, then you should have uh, FAS uh, in your infrastructure. So here is the lab setup for configuring Azure AD authentication for storefront. So I have a virtual machine on which I have my domain controller, which is Active Directory, DNS, etc. And then I have a storefront VM on which I have a storefront uh, role has been installed. So let's log into the storefront VM and then we will configure uh, Azure AD authentication for the storefront store. So I have logged into the storefront server. So this is my storefront uh, UI. So here you can see I have a store called apps. So if I launch that store, so it will end up in this landing page where I have to enter the username and password which belongs to Active Directory so that it will authenticate. So now what we are going to do instead of using uh, Active Directory, we will integrate Azure Active Directory or Anthra ID here so that it will be uh, validated via Azure Active Directory instead of our local Active Directory. So the first step is uh, we need to uh, go to the manage authentication methods. So here we need to change the authentication method. So now it's set to username and password. We need to remove this and then we need to select SAML authentication. So let's click OK. So the authentication method has been changed now as you can see here authentication method is now set to SAML authentication. So now we need to run some uh, PowerShell commands. So if you go to Citrix article there is an article which is specific to this particular configuration. So here we can find the uh, PowerShell commands. So we need to copy this. So as you can see here so this is the uh, PowerShell commands uh, we need to copy. So let's copy this and uh, let's paste it in the notepad inside our storefront server. So here the first one uh, we need to replace uh, this with our store settings. So in this example it is SAML as mentioned so we need to replace it with apps. So rest everything is uh, similar. So now I will launch PowerShell ISC. So now I will launch PowerShell ISC with the help of admin. So we need to right click and we need to select as administrator. So now I will copy whatever we have um, mentioned here in the notepad. So let's copy back to our PowerShell. So let's run this command. So first I'm going to run the first line. So similarly, I'm going to run the commands line by line. So this is the second line I'm just executed. Let's execute the remaining lines over here. So after this, uh, the from line number seven to line number 11, I'm going to execute together. So now we have executed all the commands. So this is the output. So this is very important. We need to, we need to copy this and uh, I'm again copying these uh, contents and uh, keeping it in the notepad. So in order to configure further, so we need to have this uh, service provider ID and uh, adaptation consumer service URL. So let's uh, go to the Azure portal for the further uh, configuration. So 
I'm going to the Azure portal here. We need to search for enterprise application. So here I'm going to click on new application. So under enterprise application, we need to select create your own application. So here there is an option called integrate any other application you don't find in the gallery. So which is non gallery. So we need to select this and here we need to enter the name citrix storefront and then we'll click on create so once the application is created then we need to go to users and groups so this is the page where you enter users and group details so basically citrix users who need access to the applications or uh, vdis so in this example i am going to assign this to one user so in your example it may be uh, you can give to groups or required users so i am going to assign this to avd admin so basically this user will have access to my citrix uh, storefront so let's click on assign so if you wanted to add multiple users or groups, you can add it here. So now go to the single sign on page. So here we need to select SAML. So in this particular page, uh, we need to configure basic SAML configuration. So let's hit on edit. So here under basic SAML configuration, so we need to go to the identifier. So we need to enter the value here so the value which we can get it from the output from the powershell so if you can see here we have this uh, service provider id so we need to copy this and uh, we need to paste it here under identifier so now under a reply url so we need to enter the assertion consumer service url which is again we need to go back to the same powershell output and we need to copy this so once we have copy these two values then we can click on save now we need to verify under attribute and claims so this has to be uh, the unique user identifier there has to be user dot user principal name if it is something else you need to change back to user principal name so once we have completed of uh, step number one and two now we'll go back to step number three under saml certificate we need to download metadata xml so let's hit on metadata xml download so it will download a file so we need to copy this file back to our storefront server so i'm going to copy this so i'll go back to my storefront server and i will save it in some temporary location let's say in the c drive i'll keep it under test i'll paste it over here so now we have our metadata file uh, under the storefront server so let's click the so let's copy the location so i will click on copy as path so i'll put it in the notepad so this is the path where we have our xml file now if you go back to the article once again so we need to run one more powershell command so these are the command we have to run so i'm going to copy this again so i'll paste this over the notepad here under my storefront server and here again we need to edit something so here under saml we need to remove this with our store name which is apps and then the path for this xml file so we need to copy this path and we need to re, uh, replace it here so now the command is ready for the execution so i'm going to copy the entire command here and i'll put it back to my powershell isc so let's run one by one so i'm going to execute the line number 15 so and then i'm going to set my store virtual path so you using this and then the store 
the line number 17 followed by 18 and then the last line which is update hyphen stm with the path for the xml so now everything is ready so saml configuration is completed now we can uh, restart our ias once and then we can test our authentication so i will launch my ias and i will restart the ias server once so once the service is restarted then we can launch our storefront so this is my storefront url which is sf-nvm.avdbus.site so let's copy this i'm going to launch the microsoft edge browser here so i'm going to enter it in the edge browser so after apps we need to enter web so this is the complete storefront url path so i'm going to enter it so it will go to the storefront page and then it will redirect to my active direct azure active directory or entra id so now we need to enter the password so this is my azure active directory user or active directory user you can say which is synced to my azure active directory or uh, entra id so i'm going to enter the password here so authentication is completed and i'll say no for now and as you can see it is uh, redirect back to my storefront server and i have signed in successfully although i don't have any apps at this moment so this is how you can integrate azure active directory or entra id to your storefront server so ultimately you can have mfa or conditional access policies all those things to secure your infrastructure thank you for watching the video